everyone so welcome to this next part of our minor chord progression series where we're just trying to look at how to build some really nice chord progressions using pretty much functional harmony we looked at the predominant chord uh, the dominant chord and the tonic chord in a very simple chord progression g minor a major and then d minor played for a little bit longer and we've looked at how to color the predominant we've looked at how to color the dominant to get various other possibilities and now last but not least we have to look at coloring up the tonic so rather than just look at some of the jazzy options out there i thought of also looking at how you can build some more hopeful progressions because minor is not just sad there can also be hope and uh, also how to create a better looping property how to make the listener go on a very uh, positive perspective you know amidst maybe the gloom of uh, the minor vibe which you are anyways giving them right how do you make it a bit more hopeful and also how do we leave the listener maybe a bit more hanging in the balance if you will um and that hanging in the balance is also where your vocalist or your soloist or you you know could could go crazy so i'm going to give you like this hanging in the balance tonic chord so basically that last chord d minor if you think about it lasts a bit longer right so da 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 da, da a ba da da d minor and you play d minor a bit longer always generally in most of the chord progressions the predominant ta da 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 dominant ba da da tonic played little longer la he ta da 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 dominant ba da 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 tonic minor ta da 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 that tonic chord being longer in duration we can do a lot more things to it apart from just perhaps color it but let's just start with the color shall we so you ending with d minor the first thing you can do is make it a bit more mystical or a bit more james bondish if you will so what is that chord that's a d minor with a major 7th on top quite like to roll that right you can combine that with even the major 6th okay so what happened there ta da 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 that's the melody i'm basically going with throughout the series pa da 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 pa da right so you just add that c sharp c sharp is the major 7th of d on its own funnily enough it sounds really weird and possibly wrong right but when you bring in the minor chord into the party it sounds beautiful it sounds like a very mystical vibe going on at the moment right I like to roll that a bit if you can you can arpeggiate it pa da 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 tonic now pa da pa re da 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 ru 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 ta re da ru 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 tu ru re re okay so other options you have with the tonic is just the usual jazz coloring of the chord by adding the colors or the tension notes namely the 7s the 9s the 11s and maybe even the 13s let's look at that as well so you have your vanilla d minor chord so you can first color it up by minor 7th i know earlier we looked at minor major 7th but i that's what i usually like to do right but now you can even end it with a normal traditional 
minor seventh chord. It just sounds normal, right? Da 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 da. Can even resolve that back down to a minor sixth. Da 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 da. just do that like a like a, a cliche down minor 7th minor 6th chord normal minor let's do that da 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 de da do de da da de de da de do do so instead of sticking on to that minor 7th you know you can even do that and then resolve it back right so that will work really nice um you can even make it even more colorful da 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 de da da de yeah it sounds a bit too jazzy you know for my taste because i don't play too much of that kind of music da 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 de da do de sounds a little bit beautiful and romantic which may not be the sound uh at least not the sound i am trying to go for in this composition but it sounds really beautiful okay so essentially d d minor 7th d minor 7th uh, with the 9th d minor 9th can even add the 11th which is two that's d to g E ninth, C minor seven, and now normal D minor. Okay, so da 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 da. Ah, minor seven. I still like the minor major 7th for some reason. So another nice way to use this minor chord progression is to kind of make it a little longer and by doing that I get the feeling that it can also emote something more hopeful. Okay, I'll just play you and then show you what I'm doing. Pa re da da de da da de da Okay so that sounds pretty much sad and you know gloomy pa re but if i do it this way pa re da 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 la da da de Okay there's a little bit of hope there right pa ra da da de de I kind of Uh, extinguish the hope so it's a nice emotion to kind of build your story around right pare ra ra re ra pare ra u re ra ra ru 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 so what did i do there instead of resolving it from g minor a major to d minor which is what we've been doing throughout this lesson series you're kind of evading the d minor a little bit or deceiving it also what they call as a deceptive cadence at times so pa ra 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 re ra pa ra ra it's kind of elevates the sound that's b flat major right pa ra g minor ta ra re ra a ta re right so you could use that in a loop pa re ra 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 What I like about this chord reason why it also sounds very hopeful it also feels very lydian it can emote or it can yield the lydian mode which uh, a guitar player or a soloist could improvise over right right very positive and very kind of hopeful if you ask me da 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 de da ba de da you can even play the chord like this root third and sharp four giving you that lydian vibe what is a lydian scale in 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 short a lydian scale is a major scale with a sharp 4 okay 
works really great pa re ra 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 re ro pa re ra 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 come back to d minor because b flat may be a great chord but it doesn't feel like home unfortunately in a minor chord progression at least the one we are trying to build unfortunately all hope gets lost you know where you end on the d minor or you succumb to a certain uh, thought okay so another thing you can do to make the tonic minor the last chord a bit more in- interesting is to create some climbing effects right so i'm going to show you a couple of options now and the only reason why we consider the climb is because the tonic chord or the tonic minor lasts for a good amount of time right so pa re ra 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 re ra 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 so it's just sticking there so naturally your singer when they just hear that you're probably just going to finish your sentence and not do much but what if you do something like this pa ra 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 re ra pa ra 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 ri 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 ru 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 pa re ra ro ro ru ri right so what is happening here you feel a climb right if i sing the bass notes da 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 so what happened in the bass there d e f f sharp g minor g of the g minor which is anyway the starting chord of the chord progression which is g a t so pa ri ra 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 sharp and back to the g minor and that creates a great loop with that climbing thing at the end which is breaking the monotony if you ask me of the sound of the chord progression so what happened there i'm playing d minor as i should because that is the minor tonic d minor c with e bass which has the property because it's a secondary dominant chord of f major I've landed on F major here but F major is not the true landing point which I need to land on because it should be G minor which is the predominant right so pa 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 so I need another chord which is D over F sharp which takes me beautifully and safely to G minor so ta ra 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 almost feels as though that g minor is now a home you know because there's so much of instability which happened before that so it's great for looping your chord and pushing your vocalist or your soloist to kind of think of new ideas while they are improvising right so ta ra ra re re ra 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 di ta re 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 jam a bit ta ra 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 so feels a bit gospel if you ask me they do this a lot with hymns ta ra ra So you could do that kind of climbing thing which is great because the tonic lasts you know long enough um the last thing i'd like to do to kind of color the tonic in this lesson would be to kind of give a more open ended or a little bit of a weird or a question mark kind of conclusion where you don't know what's coming next whether the chord progression will loop or whether it's just like the end you know so let's see how it works this is what i call as the fall because the bass notes are going to drop i'll play you again ta na 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 at the tonic pa ra no or pa ra ra de de ra di sharp c b 
Now it just creates a what do I do next? What's going to happen? No one has a clue, right? And da, 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 da. then you have the clue. It resolves back to the minor tonic. Okay. So what happened there? At the tonic point, when you land at D minor, da, da, D over C, da, da, you can either end at the B there, so that creates like a B minor seven flat five shape. Da, You could even add more tension by going a chromatic down D C sharp C B and now your vocalist can go crazy in that point you know so the end okay so what happened there or hanging in the balance now the song's actually over so that was how you colored up the tonic okay you have a lot of options there so we've looked at coloring up the predominant we've looked at coloring up the dominant and of course the tonic so ideally the lesson series is over if we were to just look at minor as sad and brand it with something mournful or you know a bit more gloomy but i'd like to end this entire lesson with a more brave or an epic approach to make these minor chords or minor progressions actually give you a brave sound or a epic sound and we use this word epic a lot right for some strange reason sometimes i don't even know what it means but anyway in the next part which is the final part of our lesson series we're going to look at how to build brave and epic chord progressions which have actually a minor tonality to them so head over to the next part before that perhaps practice all this stuff as best as possible head over to the next part don't forget to like share comment on this video and uh, there are there's my entire booklet which i've uh, put out for you uh, which you could download on our patreon page that will also help our channel and give us a lot of support and uh, i will see you in the next part come over there and let's get some brave and epic stuff going on